ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all supervised ages, outside the dilapidated Castle Grayskull, in front of the fresh Snake Mountain at the Hobo Jungle, I bring to you another Reno McDallas review. And I can only hear out of one of my ears, so uh, let's hope this goes well, because I can't hear how I sound. I hope I don't sound awful. I hope I sound sexy. Speaking of sexy, ho ho ho, I hope you don't think this is sexy, because that'd be a little funky. You want to do it with this toy? I mean, you might. It's cool. Here is the Funko Savage World Thundercats Chitara from Wave 2. I know a lot of people have been waiting for a Chitara figure to come out that's good, and they haven't had one in a while, and AutoZoom isn't helping me. There we go. Alright, so here she is. Flip over the packaging. Collect them all, and other languages I can't understand. And can't hope to pre-pronounce. Repronounce. Whatever. Reproduce. See what I told you? It's going to be weird, because I can't hear myself. Alright, so I'll go ahead and unbox her. easy enough all right Ooh, I'm sure people have complained about that serial number but I'm sure they didn't complain about that did they yeah no wonder Lonnie Gaylor was happy uh, shout out to Lonnie there anyway so there she is standard Tila like looks like they didn't have any problems with the uh, legs good all right and she comes with a Bow staff. Okay, I'm going to cut that out. Good thing I got the skizzers. Why they would wrap it like that, I don't know. I guess they were worried about paint loss, maybe? I don't know. Maybe it's something to do with the uh, plastic having some kind of crazy uh, virus. Some kind of STD. Or STI, excuse me. I'm old. They don't want us to call it STD anymore. Okay, so... We'll see how she holds her pole, huh, guys? Yeah. There we go. All right. All in all, a pretty cool figure. Uh, you know, everything's just kind of okay about it. It doesn't have to be too great. It's a Savage World figure. Um, I hope they do more waves of this so we can end up getting all the Thundercats and what have you. Because I am not the world's biggest Thundercat fan, but I am a fan. So... She doesn't want to hold on to that. Let's just put that back in there. Okay, so, yeah, if you like Thundercats or the Savage Rolled, uh, this figure is pretty decent, so go for it. And I kind of kept that short and sweet because I have something bigger. Yeah. This was on clearance for $20. That's right. Gray Skull Mania. Oop, I want to see it on here. So we'll go ahead and... Have a look at the box. Oops, knocking up that box over. There you go. Comes with an empty package and Triple H. I can't see what's there, can you guys? Anyway, I guess that is why the weapons are translucent. Very nice. Okay. Art on the top of the box. I'll just kind of put it like this. And then we'll flip him over. Or her. Gender neutral ring, right? It. They. Okie doke. Step through the energy ropes and into the ring of Grayskull, where the fate of WWE Turnia is decided. It's a no-holds-barred battle. And once the dust settles, the true champion will have the power. Ooh. Um, so is this going to be like one of those that, even though it's uh, no-holds-barred, there could be a no decision? You guys remember when they started doing all that no decision crap? Uh, anyway, there's your other side of the box there at the back. And speaking of sides, apparently we have uh, mashed potatoes and gravy and corn. Okay, there you go. That's beautiful. Aren't we all better people? So anyway, uh, as a way to save on time, because I know you guys usually like me to keep these shorter. There we go. Okay, I've went ahead and put the ring together and did a horrible job with the sticker. Um, it's not quite perfect in the center, and I kind of munched it up a little. But uh, I tried to take it back off with a uh, blade, and it decided it didn't want to come without ripping, so it stayed. Um, so there's that. 
There's the detail on the ring posts. And then uh, this comes right off. It attaches underneath. There's two little things there. And as you can see, there's the brackets for it. Uh, I guess these are for holding the weapons. I'm not sure what they're for because uh, it didn't come with anything else that I've noticed. Uh, but yeah, it's just pretty much a WWE basic ring with a castle outside. You push it down, it bounces, all that good stuff. But yeah, it's a neat, neat enough ring. Uh, it was easy enough to put together too. It took me about a minute and a half, but I didn't want to do it on camera just in case it took forever. So speaking of taking forever, we'll go ahead and look at the... Uh, front of the box here for them for Terror Claws Triple H and Battle Armor John Cena most unseeable man in the universe that's hilarious okay so we'll see if I can get this out easy enough I'm just gonna pause it what the heck okay we're back here so I've got them out it didn't take too long but I didn't want to take 50 million years either okay so we'll look at trips first here He's got your Skeletor Terror Claws. Standard kind of MOTU. New MOTU, that is. Articulation with the, the joints. Same body build. Um, I wonder if the arm pads are removable. Yep, yeah, looks like you could go ahead and move those and take those off. I'm not going to at the moment. His blink back to the shorts, but he has the... Uh, his logo on the front. And I've heard all these parts are supposed to be swappable, so let's see. It. Whoopsie. <laughs> I don't know if it was supposed to do that. Yeah, I guess it was. Weird. Okay, anyway. Hopefully his head does that. No offense, Triple H, but your head's coming off. If it does. Yeah, well, if not, I'll mess with it later. I'm told they are supposed to swap out, swatch out parts, so. Anyway. So, there's the Terror Claws, inside and out, okay, and then we'll, uh, did anyone see where John Cena went? Oh my gosh, I can't find him! Um, anyway, this is a, looks like a remold, just re uh, reusing the same uh, mold for the uh, SDCC shield that came with uh, the uh, He-Man figure that they came out with. I mean, if you want to check out that review, uh, if I can figure out how to do reviews and videos, I'll link it at the end. And then he also comes with the see-through battle axe that you can't see. And then, let's see here. Okay, it doesn't have an axe holder. I was kind of hoping it would have a holder in the back. Um, there's his little armband thingy. Ooh. Yeah, his joints are a little bit tight. I wonder if he just comes in part two. <laughs> I guess he doesn't. Oops. Sorry, Trips. Anyway, well, you know me, guys. I usually break my figures in these videos anyhow. <sighs> but yeah, all in all, don't you wish you had that going on for you? Good grief. Socks would be terrible to buy. Um. Anyway, neat figures. Pretty decent likenesses. Decent articulation. It's a nice little preview of how the uh, new MOTU stuff's going to look. And uh, for that, that's part of why I got this ring for the new MOTU stuff. And my kids can play with it. I might use some, use it for some photography. But, uh, you know, I don't really care. It was just kind of an accessory. The rumor is that they're not going to be producing a, a new Castle Grayskull yet, uh, if at all. So this might be the only uh, MOTU playset we get, which would be a shame. But that's the rumor as it stands right now. Uh, I Savage Skeletor asked about it on uh, uh, the Masters Instagram. So if you want to, if you want my source, there's that. So that's how he looks with his accessories. Accessories. So anyway, um, the other accessories that I have that I have been holding back for Triple H there, since they were making two of him, and uh, I like the other one better since it's his Kings of Kings armor with the skull and what have you. I have here a few things. So what I've picked up, I've got a Roddy Piper head that was cast from, uh, I got off eBay, and it is a cast head from the uh, Hall of Fame figure, I believe. So hopefully that will fit properly. Um, oops, oopsie, I'm making a mess here. 
hopefully it looks like it's to scale because it's supposed to be for a basic so those are supposed to be the same heads of basics from what I've heard so it looks like that's to scale and I will try and make sure I can get his outfit on him before I actually start customizing this I would hate to get halfway through customizing it and nothing fits him which it may not fit with his arms being that big but um, if I get him built as a custom I will put him on my uh, You'll be able to see him on Instagram as well as my Twitter, so you can check that out to see. Um, so hopefully that'll come out the way I want it, because I'm a really big Roddy Piper fan. I really hope they actually make a Hulk to this, but if they don't, I'll end up getting a double of somebody and customizing it. Make a couple of the 80s guys that need it, like Iron Sheik and stuff like that would be amazing in this. Hogan. Um, hopefully they'll make some girl, uh, the women too, you know, for the Tila bodies, but we'll see. May or may not happen, but uh, it's a possibility if they're going to make a Tila, right? They could just, you know, hopefully reuse some of the parts. And says, well, a lot of this is, a lot of the uh, stuff will be for this. Anyway, I've gone on too long. You're not here for that, Babel, or speculation. You're here for the speculation of can any of these new figures do the impossible and break through the door of Castle Grayskull, and if the camera would participate. Come on. Outlaw Mud Show stuff going on here, right? Anyway, all right, so uh, we can't see him, and can we see him get through the door? No dice, Triple H, no dice, and here we go for Chitara, no dice. All right, guys, well, thanks for uh, stopping by, and like I said, look, uh, look for this in the future. Hopefully I'll get it done, and until next time, guys, uh, please like and subscribe if you're into it. If not, thanks for watching anyway. Have a wonderful evening, day, what have you, where you're at, and remember, free the figs.